We've made it. We are down to the last two boxes of stuff that I got from the auction this week. And I wanna just jump right in and start unboxing it. Please excuse the background noise, my children who are home. I have another child due home in about 20 minutes. So yeah, enjoy the noise. Hi, cat. Guys, 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 boys. Sorry in advance. Okay, so we have here, here's a couple of little bottles, probably perfume bottles or something without the stoppers. A perfect pancake. Here's another bottle. Oh, maybe they were, it's got a wick in it, so maybe they're little oil lamps. Then this little cup thingy, hand painted, okay. not marked. Pretty. Here's a pretty vase. Hand painted in Portugal. That's very pretty. I like that. This is pretty too. RS Prussia again. Look at that. Very cool. Oh, look it. I found the teacup to this in an earlier box. It's the um, lusterware and then the guy's eating a pie, but there are blackbirds coming out of the pie. That's cool. Here is a little glass vase. It's like pink and it's swirled. Very pretty. Here is a green hand blown. You can tell there's the poncho mark. Here's a vase with a ruffle top. That's really pretty. The painting is starting to wear off and everything, but that's really, really pretty. There you go. We've got. Ooh, this is cracked like crazy, this little clay pot. It's kind of cool though. Let's see, crack all down the side and it's got a big old chip and like some pieces inside of there. Oh, it's too bad. Hey, I got a candle. Enticing aromas, vanilla bean for everybody. Soy-based candle. Poured in the USA. That's good. <coughs> no. Ugh. It's like that one went bad or something. I don't know. That was not pleasant. the top of a jar. I might have the jar. I know I had lots of jars with no lids, so we'll keep the lids to the side. See if we can. I swear I've got the match to this. I swear I have the sugar bowl. It's probably in that box. Made in Japan. Green, hand-painted. Very pretty little creamer. Gosh, I really like that. Chantal, it's a little mug. Ah. Ah. This is cute. There's no marking on it, but it does look, it looks kind of Otagiri-ish, doesn't it? It does, I like that little mug. You can see the bottom is just a little swirl. It's cool, I like it. Then I've got three of these. Oh, they're just tag. I don't remember who sells that. Is that Target? I think. They're like red and pretty little faces. They're cool. Look at these. These look old. 
these are little individual ashtrays. They are not marked, but they look old. They're very neat. And I've got four of them. Those are nice. Those are cool. Very cool. Genuine Jade Ring size 9. Maybe it came in this. It's this little porcelain holder. Here's a spoon rest. This is Spain. Porticelli Spain. It's got a little fish on it. It's nice. Okay, we've got this random glass or lucite triangle thing. Look at that! That is so cool. This is not old. Hues and brews. That's what it says. Made in China. And I'm sorry, but it's cool. I don't care that it's not old. That's neat. Here is one of those laser etched things. It's a rose inside of here. And it does, of course, have a chip on the back, but then it sits here. It's got a little flattened edge so it can sit. Oh, interesting, like on your desk. This is a gourd. Stone heat. Keep gourd out of direct sunlight. Lena, 93. This is a hand-painted gourd thing. That's nice. Here's another lid to something. It's a sweet little, maybe a tea light holder or something. This, with this lovely glass crystal tea light holder. We've got some little 1997. Some little decor. Not necessarily a vase because it has holes in it. I got another one. This is a wedding vase. Again, because it has holes in it, it wouldn't really be a vase, but it's like a wedding vase decor item. Here's a crackle glass with some painted cardinal, and that'd be an Oreo and something else. I don't know. A little crackle glass tea light holder of some kind. Here is a little wood cup. That's cool. This little wood cup. Got this little ceramic. This is like tilted. Off center. That's cool. Not marked or anything, but I like it. It's a little jar. I don't think that this matches it. No, I don't think that matches it at all. Not the same. A little made in China jar. Tudor Apprentices. Fair Day. Little Bearers. This little cup. Royal... Winton? Made in England? Old English markets? That's kind of cute. Little teacup. Heidelberg. This is a little ashtray. Germany. Here's just a little plastic scoopy spoon thing for some reason. There's a Merry Christmas. A little ceramic whatnot. This thing, I really, really wish I had the salt and pepper that would have gone there. It's a little egg dish, see? And it's Viking. This is Viking import out of Japan. That's cool. It does have a little chip in the end, but it's so pretty. I love the color. And then here we have another little sugar bowl. Let's see, this is Rosenthal. Donatello, Rosenthal China. They make some really good stuff. 
I've got a set of Fox Cubs by Rosenthal in my eBay right now. And their comp sold for a lot, so I have a lot on mine. I don't know. I've got views and a couple watchers, but who knows. But yeah. Look at that little guy. Very sweet. And guys, we got one more box. One more box. Then I can start cleaning and pricing, doing the real sort. Ooh, stuff. It's a little teacup made in Japan. Here's another little teacup. This looks like Franciscan Desert Rose, doesn't it? It does. It's not marked, but it looks like Franciscan Desert Rose. Here's a pretty vase. It says made in Vietnam. Little speckleware base. Here's another thing. Made in Turkey, Chris Madden J.C. Penny Home Collection. Hey, all right. Excuse me. Pickups are still running wild. Oh, I have another one of these. So we have a little matching set of these. It was a candle, I guess, but they make cute little pots. Here's a couple little glass dishes. It's like a custard cup or whatever. And then this is like a mixing bowl or number 11, not otherwise marked. That's cool looking. This little vase vessel looking thing. Another cobalt bottle. Handmade in Greece, 24 karat gold. I'm rich. I'm rich. Just because it's 24 karat gold paint doesn't mean it's worth a ton of money. Mm -hmm. I know. It's pretty though. <laughs> An old bowling trophy that says we tried. This is a heavy vase. And it's got like washcloths in it. Ooh, Yugoslavia. Crystal Clear Industries. 24% lead crystal. Nice. And like some random washcloths. It's all right. You can always use more washcloths. They're clean. This is definitely resin or yeah resin or something it's like a, just a little dragonfly thing it's very lightweight it's cute I see these all the time people have them always priced a little bit too high for me to buy them but I've always kind of wanted one <laughs> it's this little brass rocking horse and the market is flooded with these Ooh. this is Hosley International, handcrafted in India. I think I'm keeping this for now because I've always kind of wanted one. When you're only paying a couple bucks for the box full of stuff, that's the right price. That's pretty. Little blue vase. Oops. Where'd you guys get that money? Exclusively for Lemax. Lemax. Made in China. Uh oh. Natural luxury soap. Somebody put a label of some type in there. Oh, this is a pretty little vase. Little bud vase. I'm running out of space. What's this? It's another clear. This is just a cup. Starbucks barista cup. Interesting, I didn't know it was a Starbucks. Maybe we'll look it up. Probably not worth much. Paper, paper. Here's some art glass. It's got some fused glass on that. 
Royal Glass something. 2005. Nice little art glass vase. That's adorable. This looks like coin glass. It's got like the bicentennial on it. It's got the Liberty Bell, the Liberty Torch, all around this glass vase. It's hard to see because they're frosted, but that's pretty cool. More paper. This is really precious. This is by another Rosenthal vase. That is so pretty. I love that. Stay. Here is Andrea by Sadik. I think it's a tea light holder. And it's like a cherub. And you would probably light it up from the inside and be able to see. It. Oh, yeah, totally. Look okay. at to a customer. I don't know how well you can see it because the light, but yeah. Is, the, is this That's the cool. place where you get play coins? That's cute. Yes. Yeah. Couple more things. Got this funky glass. Four, please. I would like. It's like, like super clear. I would like ten, please. Yeah, this is a really neat little glass. I like this bottle. It's not marked. It's got like raised snowflakes and it's blue. And blue is my favorite color. This is the evolution of the Coca Cola contour bottle. And this is for my son's collection. One of the reasons I bid on what all these in here. Not the only reason, there was still some cool stuff. Last but not least is this lovely bowl. It's green with etched snowflakes. Made in China. I think it's I think it was Hallmark. I can see the copyright H. But that's pretty. That was all of it, guys. It's all the stuff from my auction. I am so glad that you joined me. And if you watched all of it, kudos. Seriously, you deserve all the kudos in the world. But I hope that you enjoyed yourself. I know I certainly did. Now it's time to clean things and research things and get things priced and or listed. And it's going to be a fun job. So we will see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Bye.